Whether you have pain in your back or joints, surgery may not be the answer. Instead of the dangers involved in cutting out tissue, consider healing and rejuvenating the area with stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. The treatments that are available to professional athletes are now available for you. Watch the videos at jointrehab.com or call the Darrow Wellness Institute at 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Welcome back to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Nita Valens. We're taking your calls right here, right now in the studio, 866-870-5752. And Dr. Darrow, would you like to go to Cindy in Alhambra? You bet. Hey, Cindy, Dr. Mark Darrow, how are you today? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. How's your right hip doing? Well, uh, not really well. It was recently diagnosed as having severe osteoarthritis. Okay. And I asked the doctor what he would recommend. He said, well, I can send you to an orthopedic surgeon. He'd probably give you a shot or suggest a hip replacement. And I've been listening to you for years and years. You've helped several of my friends. Oh, good. I want other people to know that you're really good at answering emails if you write into you. Yeah, I I do. I get it. As soon as I get one, I answer it. Same thing with text. All my patients have my cell number, and they're shocked because within a second, I'm often responding when I'm not with a patient. So, yeah, I love communication. I always did since I was a little boy. Back in the day when I was a kid, we wrote letters, and every day I'd look at the mailbox to find letters. I loved it. Now email is even more fun. So anyway, I would say that um, I never listen to other doctors about anything. I mean, I listen, but I don't necessarily believe what they believe. And uh, the reason for that is my experience in medicine is that um, when you go the traditional route, you're typically going to end up with surgery or medication or something like that. And I'm not a fan of any of that. So I like natural healing. And I would love to see you, Cindy, move your hip around, move your leg around, see if it's something we can do to help you. I get patients every day with, quote, severe arthritis, or they call it bone on bone, and it isn't. And uh, people get by very well with just getting injections of PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or stem cells. So I would love to see you. Can yep. you walk around okay, Cindy? I walk my husky every evening for oh. tenths of a mile. Yeah, great. I do the same with my – I have two huskies. One of them can't really walk much anymore. He's getting old. He's about 14. But the other one, Bella, I run up in the mountains with, and we sprint. And uh, there's nothing better. I love all dogs, but Huskies, I have had five of them, and they just amaze me. I've had five. They're so funny, and they're so sweet, and they love to run. Very. Well, Cindy, thank you so much. We we have a board full of callers. I want to get to everybody as quick as I can. (coughs) So thank you for telling me that um, your friends that, that have been to me have healed up. I'm very grateful for that. And God bless them, and God bless you. Thank you. So we're going to go to Bob in Palmdale. You've got hips and your back about your brother-in-law. So tell me about it, Bob. Yeah. What's going on? Yes. Hi, Doc. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm calling for my brother-in-law. He went to the doctor, and uh, the doctor says that he needs actually like double hip surgery. Okay. Uh, hip replacements on both sides. Sure. And he he wants to he doesn't want to have surgery. He wants to, he's putting that off. Yeah. But since then he's now with uh, double crutches. He walks yeah. around. Okay. But it's hard for him. And he and also it's affecting his lower back and his knees. And I was wondering, listening to you on the radio uh, this morning, if he would be maybe a good fit for uh, what you do. I don't know the answer. I'd have to move him around, examine him, and see what's up. If he's got no range uh-huh. of motion at all in those joints. I probably cannot help them except maybe to get rid of some pain, which may not be enough. There are people I do send for hip surgery when it's so locked up that what I do will not do enough for them. So I'd have to uh-huh. uh, I'd have to see how he's doing. And yes, okay. when people are in, when older people uh-huh. are on crutches, they don't do well with them. It does cause okay. pain, in, you know, all over the body. Would it be worthwhile to maybe uh, uh, now? Where is your office located? I'm on the uh, right off the 405 freeway near UCLA, across the freeway on Wilshire Boulevard. So it's it's okay. called West if Los Angeles. He lives in Santa Clarita, and I was wondering if it might be worth him 
maybe doing a follow up and just maybe Yeah, I think so. I get tons of people from Santa Clarita, San Diego, Palm Springs, all wow. over and believe it or not, people fly in from all over the world to see me. So uh, uh-huh. Santa Clarita is not because I know far. he's he's afraid that if he has surgery, he'll end up maybe worse than what he was before. You know, you know that's the big problem with surgery. surgery. You don't. It's a crapshoot. You don't know what's going to happen. And although the concept is amazing, but um, uh-huh. I get people who have had joint replacements who have come out terrible. So I have what we call a jaundiced eye about getting any kind of surgery, unless it's an emergency. Yeah. It's his surgery is elective. He gets to choose. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just maybe call the office sometime and maybe. Yeah, call the office. They're, they're there right now. If he wants to call now or you want to call for him, the number there to, <coughs> to the office is 800 300 9300. I'll repeat it for you while you're writing it down. It's 800 300 9300. And he can watch the uh, website that I have videos of me injecting hips or knees or backs or whatever. And that's www.lastemcells.com, www.lastemcells.com. How about you? Okay. How about you, Bob? How's your body? <laughs> I'm, do- I'm doing pretty good, thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel blessed, but I'm doing pretty good. Uh, good. But I'm concerned about my brother-in-law. He's, uh, you know... Uh, He's he's seventy five, but he's been in pretty good shape. But he started to have what you know was diagnosed by the doctor as hip problems. And the doctor said, yeah. "Oh, you need a hip replacement." And then he, about a year later, the doctor said, "Oh, you need both hips replaced." Yeah. Well, listen, I had and, someone come he, in the office yesterday who had the same kind of thing. They had some arthritis in the in the left hip, and uh, said they needed a surgery. The surgeon said they need a surgery. I moved him around. That hip was perfect. It didn't have complete range of motion, but the range of motion it had was amazing. It had about maybe Uh 70% range of motion rather than 100%. And I I asked the person to walk to show me what their gait looked like, and they walked perfectly. And I I said, how much pain do you have? And they said, well, not that much. I have occasional pain. And I said, and you'd consider getting a hip replacement for that? And they said, well, not just that. The doctor said my other hip needs to have a replacement someday, even though I don't even have arthritis there. So, got to yeah. be careful what doctors say. You got to be careful what exactly. I say. You know, I'm not the I'm not the boss of medicine. Check me out. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to do what in your heart is right for you. But unfortunately, our culture is a lot of surgeries that should never be done. And unfortunately, I get tons of people who come in after a surgery that had a failed surgery that come out worse. And I'm sorry, it gets me really angry. And the reason that I don't do surgeries is because I had a surgery on my right shoulder when I was in medical school that came out bad. I wanted to be a surgeon. I love doing surgery. But after that, I'm like, "Uh uh-uh, I'm going to find a way to heal the body instead of cut it up. And this is not a negative you know, statement about the surgeons. They're amazing people. Right. It's right. really hard work to do surgery. And they're wow. the geniuses of medicine today. You can't get into an orthopedic surgical residency unless you're top of your class. It's so competitive. They're smart guys. It's just um, that their culture I'm, is one that I don't like personally. Yeah. And I have friends who are orthopedic yeah. surgeons, good friends, and we'd like to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> I I know when my brother in law when he last went to the doctor he says the surgeon the actual surgeon uh, just uh, poked his head into the, in the doorway opened the door and he just says you know you need uh, you need surgery and he closed the door and walked off and my brother you know what I hear it all I hear it every day I hear it every single yeah. day and then there was a patient that came in ready for um, a hip replacement the doctor said you had need uh-huh. to have a hip replacement. And she's a very nice woman. She likes alternative medicine, which is not alternative, by the way. It's the real medicine that's been on the planet mm-hmm. forever. And she said, well, you know, what are the other alternatives? And he said, there are none. And he walked out. And that was it. He, was, he got grumpies. He walked out. <laughs> uh, Left her sitting would there. Would you do me a Wow. Would, would you do me a favor and just give your office number or phone number one more time? Yeah, I yeah. Give it twice. You ready? It's 800 yes. 300 <laughs> 9300 800 300 9300 
and there are people there right now. Give a call up, and you can find out more information. And uh, if the phones are busy, leave your number. They'll call you right back. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Darrell. God bless you, man, and God bless your brother-in-law. Thanks for your call. And I'd love to see him. And hopefully he doesn't need surgery at all. I don't care what the doctors say. Okay. So, um, Nita, I'm going to go to Jack. And, Jack, uh, you've got a shoulder problem. Uh, Yes, sir. We're going to send you a free copy of my book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate, just for calling in. Hello. Yes, sir. How long has your shoulder bothered you, Jack? Oh, since uh, my 20s. Oh, okay. So you're 30 years old now? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) No, I'm uh, 69. Okay, good for you. And um, what did the doctors tell you about your shoulder? Oh, it's uh, because I started uh, exercising, and um, the worst part is when I do uh, arm, shoulder, high, yep. and lateral movements. When I put weight okay. on it, yep. it's my sh- right shoulder clunks, like mm-hmm. like clicking, click, okay. click, click, <laughs> and I mean, there's not a lot of pain, but I'm, I'm worried okay. what, what actually is going on there. Well, a couple of things you said stand out. You have what we call crepitus, uh, which is just that little grinding, which can mean a lot of things. It could be a ligament that's snapping, or it could be arthritis in the joint where the bones are kind of rubbing a little Uh bit. Um, You can lift your arm to uh, shoulder length, shoulder height, I mean. Is that correct? Right, yeah. Shoulder height, and then when I put weight on it, only when I put weight. Okay. Can you lift it straight up in the air? Can you lift your arm all the way yeah. up in the air? Okay, well, that's yeah, good. Yeah, straight up. Okay. And then it clunks. Right, right now I can clunk it back yep. and forth when it's straight out, my okay. arm, and it clunks. Okay. So, But, but then when, I, all other movements doesn't do it. Okay. When we inject with platelets or stem cells or both, we <coughs> stimulate hyaluronic acid production, which is like uh, a lubricant. It's like oil in a right, car. right. And that might be all you yes. need to do is get a PRP or stem cell injection. I'd like to look with the ultrasound and see what I see in there. Did you ever get an MRI to see what that showed? No. Okay. But my, uh, yeah, a few years back, my right elbow, no, my right shoulder froze. Okay. I got a, they gave me an injection of hydrocortisone. I just remember that. Right. And then it was fine after that. But not, okay. no clunking on my left one, only okay. on my right one. I'm not a fan of cortisone or any steroid injections because it deteriorates the tissue and the cartilage. And it actually, if you do it a few times, it can actually cause arthritis. One time doesn't kill you. I'm not worried that you did it once, but I don't like doing it. Yeah, my doctor said only one time. And after that, he has to go in and clean uh, the calcium around the joint, he said, or something. Yeah, well, I don't agree agree with that. I mean, everybody's Uh entitled to their own opinion. I'm entitled to mine. I could be wrong. But uh, most people, I can get better but, using platelets and stem cells. Sodium hyaluronate will be temporary, right? Because it will be eventually be absorbed by the body, right? And then you have to mm-hmm. shoot it again. Which would be uh, absorbed? The sodium hyaluronate shots. Oh, hyaluron- I don't use hyaluronic acid shots, never. I did it on oh, my I knee don't. as an experiment. No, no, I don't. I said when I inject platelets or stem cells, that produces oh. hyaluronic acid in the joint. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Natural. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I see Natural, I like. Right. Unnatural, I don't right. like. Uh-huh. And right, right, let me right. tell my story here, Jack. Um, I had some knee pain, and I had a little fluid in my knee, <clears throat> and I had a drug rep who, t- who gave me something called Duralane, which is a hyaluronic acid. <clears throat> and I injected my knee supplement? for supplement? Oh, injected. Uh, no, injected. I injected it myself. I inject my own body all over. Uh-huh. And I, I watched that needle. I use an ultrasound. I watched that needle go right into the joint capsule. I didn't miss. It didn't go into the soft tissue. And by that day later, my entire leg swelled up. Oh. And it took about five months. I was on crutches, you name it. I could barely walk. Oh, no. So I'm not a fan of hyaluronic acid. And a lot of my ortho buddies do it all the time. And I say, how many effusions do you get? Effusion means fluid in the joint. And they go, well, we get a lot of effusions. I don't want to give people effusions. Yeah. Yeah. And I drain yeah, that thing over and over. 
and I lavaged it. I put saline in, cleaned it out. It didn't matter. It was too late. My leg was swollen for months and months. It was miserable. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in the skincare business, and I seen what it does to shooting the the lips to sort of hard on it, and then it it looks great for a while, and then it flattens, and it looks like uh, lumpy craters. Yeah, lumpy. <laughs> it's horrible. That. It's a lot it worse is. than before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, you can use something called hyaluronidase to dissolve that uh-huh. in the lips if there's ever a problem. But once it's in a knee, if you have a reaction to it like I did, that's uh, it. You're stuck. Yeah. It was one of the most painful you... experiences of my life. And did you recover from that? Yeah, I did I did stem cells over and over until it healed up. Ah, wow. Yeah, I'm very lucky because in my business, I can inject myself. I've done right, both right, my right. knees. After injuries, I've done uh, my right wrist. I've done both my elbows, both my shoulders. Right. Um, I can't reach my neck or back, but I've injured those also. I used to be a gymnast, so my whole body is pretty wow. beat up. And I've had other wow. friends who have done my neck and back. But um, I'm very fortunate because most of my injuries I've been able to heal. Actually, every single injury I've had I've been able to heal um, using Whoa, you uh, regenerative so medicine. on yourself. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's a shame in a way, but I'm very grateful that I have the tools to be able to inject myself. I don't mind the shots. You know, a lot of people are afraid of needles, yeah. but uh, they don't bother yeah, me. Yeah, I, I, I've, been, uh, I've been listening to you for, I don't know, for a long time. And, um, and uh, yeah, I remember when you, had, you said you had, a, I think, a shoulder when you were in school. Yeah, I had a shoulder surgery. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, right, yeah. I was right, studying right. surgery, and before I knew about regenerative medicine, I was very excited right, to get right, right. to get the shoulder surgery because we were doing shoulders all day long, and I asked my boss to do it, and he said okay, oh. and he did it, and it was a bad surgery. It wasn't his fault. It was just turned right, out right, bad. Right. It was full of fluid, and I had a fever, and uh, oh. took it took um, it didn't heal for years. Literally, um, wow. I learned about doing regenerative medicine. I injected my own shoulder one night, and it was one hundred percent completely cured. The next morning when I woke up, and at that point I was like, "This is what I'm going to do with my patients for the rest of my life," and I have been. Yeah, I, I, I should I should have come to you when I had that, uh, but I freaked out when I my shoulder froze. Yeah, and I already knew the orthopedic, and I went and I it was fast. But I, I should have come to you with the more natural treatment instead of the. Well, you're doing good. You're in good shape. Yeah. yeah. But I definitely, I want to. I want to do something about my shoulder because, uh, uh, especially now, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> I'm old, and uh, I, w- I wanted to really fix it, fix it properly. You know what's funny, man? I, I get younger every day. <laughs> yeah, when I started move, uh, exercising now, and I feel so much better. Exactly. I mean, I have a active work, but I'm not. I'm still a couch potato when I get home. <laughs> well, Jack, God bless you. Thank you so much for calling, and we're going to go to Mark. And, Mark, thank you so much for calling. This is Mark Darrow. We spell our name different. Uh, but I'm going to give out the number to the studio so we can get some other callers before the show is over. <clears throat> so the number right now, if you want to talk to me live like all these people have done and like Mark is going to do, my number here is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. And for all you guys who have called in, I'm going to send you, I'm going to mail you for free, a copy of my $25 book. It's called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. It's got a couple hundred pages on research on how regenerative medicine and platelets and stem cells heals the body and how it's really dangerous to get surgeries, especially ones you don't need. If you need to do it and it's an emergency, go do it. If not, check it out, what I do. You know, heal the body naturally. I like that better. So, Mark, M-A-R-K, this is Mark, M-A-R-C. How are you today? <laughs> Mark, are you there? Mark Hello, in Mark. Hello, Mark in Anaheim. Are you with us? He's got a hand problem. That's what the call screener wrote. I'm going to talk about hands because okay. I may as well, and he might be listening. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go to, I do inject hands all the time, but I'm going to go to Laura about her knee. And then we've got another caller coming up after that. Okay. So, Laura, how long ago did your knee start hurting you? Um, I've had a, I've, it's been 
absolutely bothering me for close to 25 years. Okay. Um, I was an avid runner. Okay. And I, I think I had, you know, pain in my right knee, and I would always change out my shoes uh, whenever my right knee would start to hurt, and that would seem to help. Um, okay. I'd say about uh, in my mid-50s, I quit running, and I started walking. Okay. And I've noticed now that I'm in my 60s, I'm having, well, today was the first day I woke up with severe arthritic pain in my right knee. Okay. And I've noticed that, you know, my right knee is swollen a little bit on the right. Um, and, I mean, I've had a little bit of, like, aching in my knee, which tells me it's arthritis. Okay. Um, it's really bizarre that, you know, the first thing that I happen to have this morning is this severe pain. Now, I don't run anymore. Um, I do a lot of swimming, and I do a lot of walking. Okay. But. <coughs> well, it sounds like you're in pretty good shape, and to wake up with pain is not unusual. And let's hope it's gone tomorrow when you wake up. That's the best way to heal, without doctors. Right. I always tell people, if you want to get better, stay away from doctors. And they go, including you, I go, including me. Heal on your own if you can. There's a lot of ways to heal. And be conservative in your healing. Don't jump into the most abrasive thing, which is called surgery. You know, you don't want to go no. into things that can hurt you. So I'd have to look at your knee, uh, Laura, and see what's going okay. on. I would look with an ultrasound and see what's happening. Okay. It sounds like you're psychic, that you think you know that there's arthritis when there may not be at all. Just because you have pain yeah. doesn't mean you have arthritis. And even if you have arthritis, big deal. That doesn't mean anything. You can still heal it up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do think I'm psychic. I like to self-diagnose, so... <laughs> Well, the uh, the I, Google I, Google is the big doctor in the sky now. Everybody's diagnosing. Well, you know, and I I was actually I was told many years ago when I went to for my physical and I was talking to my doctor. Oh, you know, all the years running, I mean, you probably have arthritis. So I've kind of run with it from there. Well, um, let me tell I'm you something. I have my knees course. both have meniscal tears that I've healed up with uh, stem cells. I inject myself. And uh, there were right. lo there were lots of times I couldn't run, and running is really how I enjoy the world. I know that sounds crazy. Um, I like everything I do. I'm I'm a very positive person, and I enjoy right. everything. But running really yeah. makes me feel great. I love putting my shorts on. I live in the mountains over the ocean. Put my shorts on, right. take my t-shirt off, and get some sunshine. And I love running in the mountains with my husky dog, yeah. uh, Bella. Dakota used to run with me. I used to hook them, hook them together at their collars, and they'd pull me up and down the mountains together. But he had an ACL rupture in his knee. And dig this. His ACL repair came out bad. He was better before the surgery. And ever since oh, then, yeah. he can't do anything. So just like humans have yeah. surgeries and they get worse. Well, I'm, so. not, I'm not interested at all in, in uh, going the route of surgery. For well, anything. listen, from what you're telling me, Laura, I think we can heal you up with you know, stem cells or platelets. I have to examine okay. you and look inside with the ultrasound and take a look. Okay. And um, there's a question that Kathleen has. She's our next caller, and I'm just going to ask you also. Uh, Kathleen is asking, is there an age limit on what you do? And so, unfortunately... You just got cut off. No, there's no age limit. I treat people. I've had people 100 years old, and I have people who are kids that I treat also. God bless you all. Thank you, Nita Valens. If you want to get me at the office, the number is 800-300-9300. And uh, the website to watch these procedures is www.lastemcells.com. God bless you all, and have a beautiful day. See you next time. You've been listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Now that you've heard Dr. Darrow, you can schedule an appointment to talk with him in person by calling his office anytime at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Or go online to lastemcells.com. Again, the website is lastemcells.com. Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow is heard Saturdays at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. and Sundays at 5 p.m. right here at AM 870, The Answer. Remember, 
To take the first step toward a pain-free life, call to schedule an appointment at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Live long and pain-free. And thanks for joining us today.